Hi everyone, my name is Vashu. Welcome back to the new video. I hope you all are doing great. So today's video is all about the Big Commerce Connector feature app for the multi vendor marketplace for Shopify by Webcool. So Big Commerce Connector feature app is only for those whose seller is running an online business on the Big Commerce platform and want to sync their product order and the inventory with the Shopify multi vendor marketplace. So in this video, we will see how to configure the Big Commerce Connector feature app and how to import the product from the seller's specific store and the other functionality of the BigCommerce feature app. So before proceeding, I would request you to subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the more updates. So let's move to the admin part and see how to configure and install the BigCommerce Connector feature app. So guys, this is our admin panel dashboard. So firstly, you need to enable the BigCommerce Connector feature app under the feature app section from the three dot. and search for the big commerce so here's a big commerce connector which is already installed in my store and if you wish to check the user guide you can check from here view details and then user guide so let's move to the configuration part under the configuration section then connector configuration so let's start with the connector configuration from the admin side and if you have installed any other connector app then you can select from this drop down but currently there is only one so it is already selected so there are few tabs that you wish to enable if you want so from this section you can choose whether you want to update the product name when seller update the product name on their big commerce account same goes for the product inventory product price product image description product collection and the product meta fields the next one is the charge tax on product. So here you got the three options, charge tax as on a seller store, never charge tax on the product. And the third one is charge tax on the product. So the next one is the sync order. So basically if you wish to sync the order from the multi vendor to the big commerce account, then you can enable this configuration. And if you enable this, then you can also enable the, if you want to sync the customer details from the multi vendor marketplace to the big commerce account. So you can check this configuration from here. So after this, you need to click on the save changes tab from here. So guys, this is all about the admin side configuration. Let's move to the seller panel and add the seller big commerce store to the multi vendor marketplace store. So guys, this is our seller panel. Okay, so let's move to the configuration and add the seller big commerce store seller need to go to the big commerce configuration under the configuration section okay so guys if the seller want to add the big commerce account with the multi vendor marketplace store so there are two things that seller need to enter store hash and the big commerce account access token so let's see how the seller can get this let's move to the big commerce account panel so once the seller uh, log in to the account seller need to go to the account setting here then scroll down and go to the api account and then click on the create api account so after fulfilling all the details and click on the save button uh, seller will get the access token and to get the store hash seller need to copy the highlighted url up to dot so after adding all these details into the seller multi vendor panel access token dimension currency weight and store hash and there's another configuration auto sync a new product so by checking this option all the newly added products your big commerce store will get automatically synced to your merchant store so if you want to this you can enable this from here and after this you can click on the save tab 
So after getting the successful message, you can check for the collection mapping from here to map the collections. If you wish to map a collection, you can click here and start further proceed. Let's move to the big commerce web books from here. So guys, if your web books are not registered, you can register it from here. Register web books. And if you want to unregister, you can unregister from here. After that, you can import the products from the big commerce to the multi vendor marketplace. Let's see how the seller can import the products. So again, uh, seller need to go to the big commerce configuration under the configuration section, then need to go to the import products. Okay, so there are two methods for importing the products from the big commerce account to the multi vendor marketplace. The very first one is the product ID. You can add the or select the product ID and import the product. The, very, the second one is the range detail. You can add a range of the product ID and import the products. So let's check the first method that is using product ID. So first let's check the product ID of some product on the big commerce account from here. Let's check this one and the product ID is 457 Mention in the URL. Let's enter this 457. Yes. And click on the import button. And you will get a message that product importing in background successfully. And let's check the product from here. Go to the product listing. Yes. The product has been imported successfully with the quantity and the price and the image itself. But the approval is pending. So admin will approve the product from the admin panel let's check how it works go to the admin panel product listing and then enable from here from the action tab So guys, this is all about the big commerce connector feature app for the multi-vendor marketplace for Shopify. So if you have any further query, do write us mail support at the rate, webcool.com. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like our video.